Hello, Rich Meisters, yet tonight for another live, and today we'll talk about something very important that uh, is, as the last video, uh, as I told you in the last video, is there, but you don't feel it. Because it's a different, different, um, not a big one, but a small one, di different way of approaching things between wishing something and make it happen, manifest it into your life. And basically the intention is the same. You wake up and in your mind is, I wish to have whatever, the bank account full. All the time, when you start wishing, and this is very important, um, there, is a, there is a balance. There is a balance between what you think it's possible for you, because this is the rational mind, it always influences through past experience the today. So that means your mind will tell you, yeah, you already had in your bank account, I don't know, 5,000 euros a month, and automatically you can dream again of getting that those $5,000 a month or euros a month. Even if it was for a shorter period of time, you can generate wealth over time and it, it will be faster and better every single time you go there. But it's very hard to imagine something that you never have. So basically, if you try to tell yourself or to inspire yourself to wish for yourself a Ferrari, for example, or a Lamborghini, but you never have it and you don't know people that have it and your mind cannot comprehend it. So it will only stick to a board and your actions um, will be influenced by it, even in a negative way if you don't uh, prepare your mind for uh, the, the, the hustle that me is required in order to go there. And the hustle for me basically means waking all, every single day, doing something for your dream every fucking single day. It doesn't matter if it's Monday or sun, Sunday, you need to do something for your dream every single day because you respect it. If you expect other people to respect your dream, then you need to do something for your dream in order to attract other people that believe in your dream as much as you do. You can not cheat on people. And if you do, the balance will always rebalance itself. But you win, you will lose. So the difference between manifestation and wishing is, as I told you, not that big. Manifestation is basically the moment when you put behind the wish a proper action. If you see on rich mindset, all the time we talk about the same thing action 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 motivation shit action 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 don't get motivated through through nothing you don't need nothing the action will motivate you if your goal is big enough but the action itself so you need to have a short term uh, goal a medium term goal and a, a, a high term goal for example uh, a long period term goal sorry for, for example if you would desire that number you need that we've spoken about or that Ferrari that you've spoken about just break it down, come today and say what I need in order to um, get to the next level. And this is a, there is a talk from Steve Harvey. There is something, a TikTok that is running around or a reel or something like this. You can find it everywhere, just need to write Steve Harvey. Uh, and he wrote like, if you want to go to 1 million, you need to do one action for $10, 10 times. That means 100 euros, $100. Then repeat that 10 more times like 10 more days and then you have 1,000 euros. Then repeat that 10 more months, then you have 10,000 euros. Then repeat that 10 more years, then you have $100,000. Then repeat that uh, or get other 10 people to do exactly what you're doing 10 more times and you have 1 million. This is how it works. What he basically did in that video is he uh, didn't go directly to 1 million. He broke down, he broke down the the goal into smaller pieces so that are better to understand and faster to understand. So this is manifestation and this is the difference between manifestation and wishing. Manifest wishing is just I wish that and it's a long term goal. Manifestation basically means in, or implies that you break down a day, uh, your big goal in the smaller goals and accomplishing them step by step. And <coughs> And that will, <clears throat> and that will uh, most definitely allow you to manifest it into your life. So the wish will become reality. So this is it. 
What together with the law of attraction that I told you, the law of attraction is this accelerator based on what I just told you here. So basically they are both together, they are very, very, uh, uh, they are compliant, they are directionally, they, they are proportional one to another, but um, you cannot put the law of attraction into nothing and ex expect that the law of attraction will generate something. Basically, the law of attraction multiplies what you are doing. If you are doing it with a high intensity and a high goal and everything that I told you in the last video. So, like, share, comment. See you on the other side of the comfort zone because it's freaking awesome. So, peace out, guys.